Hi there, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures. Hello and welcome back. So today we are continuing uh, with the bird journal. I have on the other one uh, sewn this in and I've stuck the ephemera down and decorated the pages. So we just need to catch up uh, with, with this one. So they're both at the same uh you know same thing so i did put that on there i absolutely love that i think it's perfect and i must remember to make these again i actually could do with a notebook of things that i've made that i really really like that i really want to you know like continually uh make so i've always got those things in my stash um yeah i love them um did i do that on camera i think i did um we obviously still need to to decorate those that but for now i'll <coughs> i'll just take take that that off um i'm gonna flip through the the other one um so i can see what i did where because it will just save save time uh thinking so i'm not going to stick the ephemera in until i've decorated the pages so i might as well put that to one side so it looks as if on this first page um obviously didn't do anything to that um i've put some tape down here just to reinforce it so i've used uh, my masking tape which is on my amazon favorites which yeah i'm going to run out at any moment uh, i keep saying that i'm going to buy some some more um and <clears throat> I just put some, <clears throat> excuse me, of, of this, which it is a, a washi tape. Again, it's on my Amazon. Just at the bottom, um, on the other one, it was quite, well, there was a few tears, to be honest. There isn't any, uh, there is a little bit there. So just going to put some of that on to... Um, reinforce it but first I'm going to put the masking tape uh, down it it's not masking tape it's um, uh, framers tape so it's really very strong and very sticky which is super so I'm just going to bring it Bring it round. Okay, um, we need some scissors. So I've not been up very long. Um, I didn't video one of these yesterday, so I'm keen to to get get on because it's the other videos I did them in. Um, in two days i think i did two two each day so i've got quite into it which um now i'm feeling a little bit wooden with it it's it's surprising isn't it so i should have done it not as thick as that is that yeah that's plenty and that's plenty so i think i'll have the thicker one on this one does need protecting oh no oh, i didn't want to rip that side oh well oh well right i'd have preferred a straight straight edge so i'll stick that there and that there um i'm going to ink it i don't know if i use that again so i will keep keep that out can we oh no i just wondered if i could get any further further out um, I've moved my camera set up back to the um, original one. I think the way that I had it looked better for you, but I just could not get used to the... It's not a tripod, but the frame of the stand was like at my right elbow and I was forever knocking into it. And I felt as if I was like stuck in a corner um, and couldn't move freely so I've moved it back which gives 
you know, that flat kind of look, whereas I feel that the, the other way gave a more, not side on, but, you know, not totally, totally flat. Um, but yeah, I just, I just couldn't keep filming um, like that. So hopefully it looks, looks okay. So that's fine there. Might end up having to put some, some glue there to keep that down. Yeah. It must have heard me. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop some oh, glitter on it. Now Rita was saying about this um, tip <coughs> that um, when your bottle's, you know, more than halfway um empty that it it is a bit slow coming out and mine i've probably only got a, a third left in it so um once i get a new bottle and i feel that because i've had this this bottle a couple of months it's i don't know the plastic doesn't feel feel the same so i'm ready for an actual new bottle Right, that's that one. Um, I'm going to ink ink around it, even though it is. Um, it's got a lovely patina, but it's got no actual real agent uh, around the sides. I might have to pause shortly and go make myself another another cup of tea. I'm going to say I've got up, uh, sat and had a drink of tea. Who have I just been watching? Oh, I've, um, obviously I'm filming this a few weeks ahead, um, but <clears throat> I've just watched the flip through of uh, Rita Jensen's Blue um, Fall Journal, which turned out absolutely stunning. She's got an amazing eye for, for detail and... Um, like embellishing things I find that I can overlook that kind of thing I've definitely got better since I've started making actual embellishments beforehand um, but I know myself when I'm in the moment of, of putting something together um, I want to across there as well or shall I? I think on this I'm going to have it down down the sides and then it's like got protection everywhere apart from the top. Well, you're not going to be um, so much putting your fingers across the top. So, yeah, um, because I know that <clears throat> I don't like breaking too... Oh, that's going to be too short. To, um, I'm going to rip that off. Right, let's get me length there. to stop and actually make things as as I'm putting it together um I've kind of learned that now about myself so I'm definitely better getting ephemera and embellishments and everything made up uh, beforehand because that's when I really enjoy uh, making them if if I'm making them in the moment I, I then tend to rush it because I want to move on to to the next thing because <laughs> I'm putting it all together um so yeah and I'm obviously now I've made a certain amount of embellishments I'm knowing what I actually do need and use and I think clusters and snippets are, are absolutely fabulous because you can use them for so many different things so I think at the beginning of um, any new kind of um, I want to say topic <laughs> topic um, I love that word topic when they used to say it at school a topic it, it just used to make it sound really exciting a topic oh. 
Hmm. Anyway, but um, yeah, I obviously work in, in, in themes. I don't just seem to do one thing in something. I, I do a theme for, for so long. Um, and obviously now I do know that you know, I always need botanical things. I always need bird things. So, I think every so often I need to, you know, make sure I've done so many snippets and clusters. I like that. <laughs> um, snippets, clusters. Same with the, you know, the snippet and cluster strips. Um, because obviously you can use those in a different way to what you would actually use just clusters for so yes i suppose you learn that kind of thing don't you as as you go go on right so the next page is is this one which um was out of the book called the avery again this is in my amazon favorites under books that that i use so i need to connect this to to another page probably just do with putting some tape just there it's um just ripped a little bit not now <laughs> it must have ripped as i was taking it taking it apart i'm not gonna see that tanya um so yeah i was on about a cup of tea wasn't I? <laughs> so I'd, I'd not long been open i sat watching uh rita while i was drinking my tea and then all of a sudden i turned the camera on <laughs> I do that it's like yeah yeah I want to film now um, and I don't actually think about are you thirsty do you need to go to the bathroom first like is there anything you need to do first it's just like yeah I want to film <laughs> and that's that's it so I've got another page and this is uh called uh my painted garden this is also in my Amazon uh favourites under books I use and all I've done is is folded that down to make um, myself a little hinge so thinking about it I don't need to put anything over that because it is actually going to be stuck stuck to there and this is going to want cutting cutting down slightly but I'm going to stick it together first um, <clears throat> and then I can cut it down so all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fabric type just I just trust it more and to art glitter the whole of this yeah you'd have to put me on put me on fast speed can I call him pattering about um it's still summer holidays here and um and the friends here again they they've literally been with each other every single day um so Alan keeps staying at hers and then <clears throat> when Alan comes home she kind of comes home with her and then they stay here for so many days and then go back to <laughs> back to a friend which is lovely um but yeah, I had a bit of a, a moan yesterday because um, Eleanor's not one of the most tidiest of um, girls. I mean, I, I've only ever had girls and my oldest two are a lot older than, than Eleanor. Like, my oldest is going to be 30 this year and my middle daughter's 27. But um, they was the most untidiest um, people too. Um and yeah, Alma's just as bad. And um, yeah, so I found that you know when the, when she's not here, fabulous. But when the, she is here, it's obviously <coughs> all these clothes what she's took <coughs> with her. Um, you know, just being left, and then they obviously you know eating in a bedroom, and which I, I don't you know I don't mind. I'm I'm not mega uh, strict. Not now she's of a certain age. I mean, if she'd have been, you know, below 12, um, there'd be no way you'd be sitting at the at the kitchen table eating. But, um, yeah, you know, I remember 
you need your privacy when you're a, a teenager. Right, so that's um, that done. I think all I put there was a little bit of, of this and then just some uh, nice washi over the top. Not so much to add the, the number, uh, just just as, I don't know, a little bit of decoration. Um, so yeah, there's obviously been done twice as many parts, twice as much washing. Um, so yeah, I did have a bit of a, a bit of a moan yesterday, and then they went out, and she rang me, and she said, "Does that mean she can't stay tonight?" And I said, "Yeah, of course she can stay. Like I'm not. It's not about that. It's about I'm not picking, you know, and carrying uh, for you both." So when they came back last night, um, and I'd given money to, to get something to eat while they was out, because I thought, well, if they eat while they're out, then, um, you know, I'm not going to, I'm looking for a certain washi tape, which obviously I can't find. Um, and then I came back and still cooked something. And I went down later and made it a cup of tea. They'd still left the bloody parts. So, I th you know, sometimes I think it, it's just waste of time nagging, isn't it? So, um, yeah, what's the, what's the point? <coughs> right, so there's that. And it looks as if I did it again across here. It is a nice little decoration, really. It's just a bit of something to to draw your draw your eye. So they're awake. I can hear them, and um, I think Colin's in there. He gets really excited because they don't let him in very often, um, and when he does, he gets so excited. Right, and down this side, I hope I don't keep banging the camera as I'm coming back up with them. Um, have I inked all around next? I feel, yeah. But, um, yeah, it goes in there and then it gets like that excited that I don't know if you know what a Kong is. Um, it's it's a type of dog toy, and he has <laughs> Kong Extreme. Because when he was a puppy, you know, we did all that. Oh, let's buy him lovely teddies, and he loves a teddy. Absolutely loves them. But they they last about an hour, and I still do buy him him at Christmas. <laughs> Probably buy him about ten. Um, and I give him one at a time and you know they last for about an hour or so and they get to that point where it's like right I need to take a, a, it off him now before um, you know he's totally ripped it into smithereens and he's eating all the stuffing type thing um, and this is like a, a rubber toy but it's in a really um, tough plastic so that's that yep and let's check if I did anything on the other side of that. I don't think I did. No. So the next page is uh, just just a plain one. So I'm going to start by inking it all the way around. Yeah, so <laughs> when they let him in, then he gets that excited that he needs his Kong. It's um, it's a bit like a cat like that. So, um, like, he'll run around the house uh, looking for it and start throwing it up in the air and, and stuff. And and every time, like, you, you know, you mess about with him and <laughs> get him, you know, all a bit excited and that, he has to go and find his Kong. It's as if it's... I, I don't know, it's, you know, like, oh, when you become, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, yeah, he'll go in there, be excited for, you know, a couple of minutes, and then he'll want to come back out, go and fetch his Kong. Well, in the meantime, she's then shut the door, because, 
they like the door shut, you know. Uh, very rare, Elmer has a, a bedroom door open. And um, yeah, and then he comes back, oh, you know, chuffed that he's found his Kong and then he stands at the door with his Kong in his mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, and that, you know, happens several, several times a day. <laughs> And he doesn't learn, he, you know, we don't think, oh, best not go and fetch me Kong because um, they won't let me in after. No, he doesn't learn. Right, I'm just going to put a light bit of stenciling on because <clears throat> there's not that many plain pages. So the plain pages that there are, I do want to keep them as, uh, you know, writable pages. Have I got the right glasses on? Yeah. So get my mat out before we go any further. So I think I've finished all the half conversations that that I was uh, telling you about. That's the thing, you know, when um, you are chatty uh, but you're doing something so you have to keep stopping to, <laughs> to say what you're doing. Then, uh, yeah, totally forget what I'm on about. I, I mean, I know I'm not, not the only only person who does um so yeah i i imagine that um in a video sometimes you can probably have um you know five or six starts of conversations and you perhaps never never hear the end of them so i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry about that but yeah I, not a lot i can do about it um The memory is um, filled up with sawdust, unfortunately. What's that? This is my favourite um, of the stencils that, that I do have. This one and, and the flourish one, but um, this is my thirstiest favourite. <laughs> my bestest. So that's that one done. Where's um, my completed ones? Let's move that out of the way. So that will go in there. So now he's barking, so <coughs> it won't be long before, before he gets thrown out. So that's that. That goes on there. And then that's that. Okay. So this one, I've got some Tim Holtz um, tissue. And I've had this for well over a, a year. Um, my friend Roxana from America sent me. Um, it, like I said, about a year ago, and I was a bit nervous to use it. I mean, for me, decoupage is a bit hit and, hit and miss. Um, and I, I've said before, <coughs> when I first started, um, you know, I did the decoupage with the Mod Podge, and oh, it's just an horrendous experience. Um, if you get it right, it's fab, um, but you know, for ripping and bubbling and all the rest of it. It's just a nightmare. So since doing the, the glue stick way, um, I'm going to say, like, it's pretty spot on now and then it's all going to go wrong. Um, but it but it is. It's a lot, it's a lot easier. Um, so you don't ruin as many, as many things. So... Um, but I didn't want to use it until until then. It's, uh, it's too expensive, isn't it, just to um, use it if, if you ruin it. So that's lovely. Right, where's my scissors? Shall we get the lid back on this? We shall. Let's move this over this side so it doesn't go on anything. Scissors, that's those. That can go back on there, like so. Okay, right, let's um, chop this off. Oh, I didn't realise it was plain on the other side. I'd have covered 
um, that side. So seeing as that's plain, I might just put a little bit of stenciling on there. I do put something on when we get to the sticking ephemera on, but um, yeah, it'll still look a little bit bare. So I will put some stenciling on that. I must take the time to um, clean all my scissors. <laughs> I bet that's all your hair off. Because uh, I hear it, you know, many a times a, a day when I watch YouTube, somebody's always saying, I must clean my scissors, I must clean my mat, I must clean my scoreboard out. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure all crafters everywhere are <laughs> saying the same thing, even if it's just to the, just to the sounds. But... Yeah, I think, uh, you know, as you're using them in the moment, I mean, again, I couldn't just stop and think, right, I'm going to clean them all um, because I'm, you know, in that moment of, of being creative. So if I stopped, I would probably just lose, um, I don't know, not the momentum, but something similar, similar to that. Um, so yeah, you tend to think, right, I'll do it at the end of the day. And when the end of the day is coming, you've tidied your table or not tidied it. Obviously, I tidied my table, but um, you either forget or you've had enough kind of thing. Or you've been in your craft room that long um, that you've got to hurry up and go and get on with tea. <laughs> so yeah, I just never seem to seem to get round to it. I should have a, you know a once a month session of right let's get everything um cleaned and sharpened and what have you so that's going to go in there like so and then we have got this plain page i think all i'm doing on this one is is inking round just wanted to get all the stamping and um stenciling done before I actually sew it in because that way because I, I am going to do a bit of stamping um if if my stamping is a renders obviously then I can just change change the sheet out whereas if I've sewn it in I think just the pressure of oh my goodness it's sewn in um makes your stamping go go horrendous so And I thought it's it's easier to ink as well, why? All your pages and stuff before you you put them put them in. And then we've got that. Um, again, I do stick some ephemera onto that, but um, just a little bit, just something to look at right that's that so next is this one again i'm going to do a bit of brown stenciling now so i did alternate it on the other one uh blue and then, then brown reminding myself you don't have to ink you know down that side because that's where it's going to be so then that'd probably be easier to do it with a brush on the top but I don't know I'm just used to inking the sides like this 
and I seem to pick the brush up when I am uh, stance then. Right, that's that. Let's do this one in, in brown. So I think this one I'm going to go down the edge. Yep, I like that. Do a pot of knife then. The reason I'm looking is because some of the stamping that I did in the other one, then when I placed my ephemera there, I actually then covered over the stamping because, you know, I'd not thought about, oh, where am I putting the stamping and where am I putting the ephemera type thing. So I didn't want to um, cover, cover it up. that is that page then we've got this book page this looks as if it needs some um, tape I think just doing it on one side will be, be fine Not like I'm avoiding running out of tape. <laughs> I would definitely buy buy it again. It's um, I think washi tape's very nice round edges and and things. And but I think the middle I do prefer prefer using this. Let's um, do this way. Definitely prefer doing it with the dobber. Okay, that's that one. What's next? I'm going to put a stamp um, on the inside of this one. to stamp high up and a stamp low down so I've got a couple of bird stamps out so I think I'm going to have the big one there yeah and the little stamp down there okay so I'm going to get that stays on. It 
show it straight. Yeah, super. And this one, it is a little bit too big for this, but <clears throat> it worked okay um, when I did it in the other one. So that stamp is from uh, an Edith Holden uh, stamp sheet that, that I've got. It was like a big A4 um, and it was free in a card magazine. It must be three years ago. I actually brought that before um, I started junk journaling. I'd, I was watching junk journaling and knew that um, <clears throat> I wanted to, to do it. And then I so just happened to see it. Um, in the news agents and I thought yes I'm going to buy that um, and I did so I'm glad that I did and that one is from uh, the Nature's Gallery it's just a single stamp and that goes with that uh, paper pad that I've been using the pad is discontinued um, But I did manage to, to get hold of one. And quite often, if you do look on eBay um, and put Nature's Gallery, I forget who, who it is. I always want to say Dovecraft, but I don't think it is Dovecraft. Um, and I managed to get some um, tissue, some greeting cards, that stamp. I think there was something else as, as well. I thought different sellers so it's surprising what turns up when when people have a, a d stash isn't it but when you're actually wanting them and you're searching for them sometimes you know obviously somebody just hasn't had a had a d stash but then you forget um about them wish these was just a little bit longer and I'm, I'm wondering if this is it if it does fit um the U, the US um lengthways on a on a journal right that will do that page <coughs> then we've got this um two stained writing paper don't really think oh, that one's in Ken around her and let's get some lids on I'm gonna use a small bird stamp Oops. these are just off uh, cheap little sets I think there's a small one on in the um, and I'm just going to do it with a distressing in the Edith Holden set. So I'm going to do that one there, and so I'm going to do that one at the top. It's not a very good print, but that's fine. So that can go in next. Then we've got another one of these. Nearly there now. Nearly there. I can hear you all saying, are we there yet? Then once I've done that, I will get it sewn. I'll do that off, off camera. And then we'll come back and get the ephemera stuck in. And then we'll have to see what's next. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to use the, <coughs> the big bird again and I want to pop that there. I don't know where that stays on. I think they must have just gone down for, for breakfast. I can hear them. At least they are taking the pots down, which is one thing. Because um, it's better than having to root round the bedroom for them. They're just not, <coughs> not you know, going the full way and getting them washed. But I don't suppose you can have everything, can you? <laughs> I'm not just keep holding this down, I'm not actually looking. Yep. Right, so I don't want anything <coughs> on the other side. So where are we now? I've got another oh, plain one. Oh yeah, we are nearly there. So I'm just <laughs> stenciling around this one. I'll do this in brown again. I think pulling them out as well instead of doing, you know, the half page. Um, it seems like you've obviously got twice as twice as many, but if you do it as a as a whole page, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's quicker. So this is actually going to be the last page because um, <coughs> then we've got the, the doily and we've got this middle piece which I still haven't made my mind up what I'm doing. I mean I don't know if I'll end up having corner pockets or not but I think that's going to be the last thing that, that I do because I, I want to get the ephemera in, do more decorating and things, see how uh wide they get because um yeah it's it's obviously not a very big big journal so that's that did i say i was doing this one in brown i think i did i'll do it in the in the stays and soon as the lids off oh that lids off too i'll say why why wouldn't it be so I think that is that. Um, I, oh, I don't want to go down there. I make myself a cup of tea. So I don't want them to think that I'm going down and going, get these pots washed. And I will have to say that if I go down and, and see it. <laughs> I won't be able to help myself. But yeah, I'll tend to have a big old moan while I'm down there. I'm just trying not to moan when somebody's somebody's ear. I think you have to do a bit sometimes because otherwise uh, the mates think that you know you're, you're not going to ever say anything so I think you do you do have to say a little bit of something uh, but yeah I don't obviously want to be being like um, be embarrassing because uh, oh, there's nothing worse is there than being a teenager and your mother embarrassing you or your father, anybody, anybody embarrassing you. It's so, um, oh, everything's, well, I mean, I don't know, because I was only me, but <laughs> um, I, I just found everything so embarrassing at a certain age. It was just like, oh, don't look at me, don't speak to me. <laughs> just, oh, everything's so, so embarrassing. I think because you're that into yourself, aren't you, as a teenager, I think you think that, everybody else is really you know bothered about what you're doing what you're saying and, and all the rest of it when they're not really um but yeah <laughs> funny funny things teenagers are it's it's a funny time but it's a lovely time isn't it you know when you grow up and, and you look back um yeah it's, it's fabulous really so that is is that so it's coming on quite chunky am i going to keep that height because I, I don't know if that's a bit pointless it because it's the only high thing so i might um cut it off a little bit let's have a look um because this is the the bigger one i'm just going to move the the board because there's going to be <coughs> ink on it isn't there 
um, yeah, this is the, the taller one. The other one was, was just a little bit um, shorter. So height wise, it's, it's perfect for the cover, but <clears throat> I don't know if it's worth having that high. So I'm going to just take a small amount off. <clears throat> Be big enough. Should have just enough ink on here just to finish that off. So let's look at it. That's better. Okay. Just gonna pause for a tick. Okay, I'm just gonna go through and make sure the pages, you know, uh, where where I want them. So I kind of want that central. And we've got this one. I want that right at the right at the top. Let's say. I don't, there's not a lot of sizes, so it's pretty, pretty quick. Yep, want that middle, like so. About that, that, I can go middle. Okay. So I'm just going to put that in, make sure I've got it where I want it. Just pop it down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. So. I'm just going to push it right, right into the, the corner, uh, you know, the Give it a bang, and then I'm going to use these bigger clips. I'm just going to clip it there, and I'm going to clip it there. You yeah, just can't, I might have to clip it this side, I just couldn't grip that. That's it. And that, and I'm just going to make three holes. So that's that. Um, I'm going to pop that on here. This is one of those frames um, that I bought from AliExpress. So that's just going to go go there. I have <laughs> inked inked around the frame because they are very white around them. I did go back after and bought another packet of them. So I have got two packets of them, which, you know, they'll last forever-ish. You know what I mean. I don't think I'll ever need any more. Because um, I think there was about, I don't know, 40 in, in the packet. There was really, very good. It's a bit off-centre, that, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, 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 Tanya. Let me, I might have to get another one. In fact, shall I, shall I try? I thought it was going too, too well. I think it's probably going to mm, be really hard to lay. Okay, I've made a right mess of them, so. Right, I'll get another frame out and I'll ink it up. Um, I may have to just put a little bit of paper over there. I don't think it was that off either. Should I, should I just left it? 
In fact, instead of a frame, I'm going to put one of these. And this is a, a piece from the Nature's Gallery, which I was on about. And this was um, like a, one of those pads, what are full of like ephemera pieces. So yeah, I'm going to stick stick that there. I don't didn't want it to be a pocket or or anything like that because I don't really want to create um, bulk on the front with having this uh, wrap over. And I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to keep that as a pocket. I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to. So I will have to cover. Um, I mean, I quite, I think I'll stencil that more, but I'm going to put some paper um, over, over that. Okay, quite happy with that. So yeah, I might put, or I could put some, some thick washi over it. So that's that. I'm going to leave it at that. I will be back later. Um, and we're going to start sticking uh, the ephemera in. Um, so we've got lots to get in it, and then we'll have to see see what's still still left to do. So I shall see you later today. Bye for now.